Okay, let's get real honest with you guys. My first regret and mistake throughout my 20s, and this has been a theme throughout the majority of my life and is still something I'm working on, is I care too much of what people think of me. And a prime example of all this is I remember last year I made a video and it didn't perform that well. I didn't get as many views as I wanted it to be because I had my freaking expectations were way too high. And I deleted the video because I was so worried that you guys would see it and be like, oh, it didn't get as many views. He's not so cool anymore. Or I'd have brands see it and be like, you know what? Maybe we don't want to work with them. His channel is dying. So I would delete the video. It's so ridiculous. I did the same thing with like Instagram posts too. I would post something and if it didn't get a certain amount of likes, I would delete it. At some point I was like averaging like 15,000 to 20,000 likes on an Instagram photo. And I remember one photo got like 11,000 likes and I deleted it. I get shivers because it's so stupid. I'm so sorry guys that I did that. I'm so ashamed of it. To mark my 30th birthday, I got two tattoos. And people always ask, well, what do your tattoos mean? This is what this tattoo and this tattoo actually mean to me. They're in very, very visible places. If I'm not wearing a long sleeve shirt, you can see it and you can instantly go, ooh, tattoo, ooh, and you can make whatever comment you want. But they're in a visible spot so I can remind myself to not give a fuck of what other people think of me. I like this tattoo and that should be enough. And that is enough for me. So that's my biggest regret. Number one, the number one umbrella of them all is I need to stop giving a fuck of what people think of me. That's what I'm working on right now in my 30s. But I got some more juicy, juicy regrets for you coming on up. <laughs> okay, next regret. Now, this is gonna kinda sound like the antithesis of everything that we've heard over the last couple of years but I regret working too much. And this is because I totally bought into hustle culture. Some of my idols at the time were Casey Neistat and Gary Vee. And Gary would post videos like this one here. 20 to 32 for 12 years of my life, I worked seven days a week. And I would, I would listen to these videos and I'd be like, ah, oh, they're so successful. If I wanna be like them, I should be working 80 hours a week, seven days a week. I would feel guilty, I would be at like parties and I would physically be there and in my mind I'd be like, I should be at home editing videos and editing photos. And I wouldn't be present. And that's, that sucks because there were awesome parties in university that I just didn't give myself permission to enjoy. It wasn't until I was 28 and I was on a trip in Berlin that I gave myself permission to have fun. And that is one of my biggest regrets of my 20s is I didn't let myself have enough fun and I worked too much. And I also understand the byproduct of working so much also led to whatever success this might be, a YouTube channel, Instagram, a career. But at the same time, I also didn't need it to happen as quickly. This could have happened a couple years later and at least I would have looked back on my 20s and been like, at least I enjoyed myself. So don't, don't work so hard. Book that trip, enjoy yourselves. You do not need to be a workaholic and that's coming from a recovering workaholic. <laughs> Okay, this one is going to be particularly difficult to share because my ego doesn't want me to share it. I just genuinely wish I was more authentic, not only to my friends, uh, but to you guys. When I first started this YouTube channel, I got support from my friend Peter McKinnon. He also shouted me out on his channel, which led to me getting 10,000 subscribers overnight. And at that time, I so desperately wanted to be a YouTuber. And I had 10,000 eyeballs and this, this new audience waiting to watch my content. And I was so scared of showing my authentic self that to protect that, I packaged my personality and my videos in a way that was very familiar, which was Peter's style. 
and I did what was working for him because I thought if he was successful, then that would mean I would be successful too. I watch those old videos and I don't even know who that person is. And the person that you see now, this Chris, this is authentically me. And this has taken a long time to get to, but I regret that I didn't just show you this person first. So, hi, I'm Chris. If you like me, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you don't like me, it's the perfect time to unsubscribe. But if you're enjoying it, it's the perfect time to subscribe. To summarize this all, I think one of my biggest regrets, like genuinely, is I just wish I was more authentic. And that's my goal for my 30s. So who you see now, welcome to the show, baby. One of the other things that I w I've been thinking about is that I wish I didn't put so much weight on certain milestones. When I first graduated university, I remember thinking that if I made $500 in one week, that was a good week. I remember thinking if I had $100,000 in my bank account, then that's, that's when I'll feel less anxious and that's when I'll feel happier or that's when I'll let myself just chill out for a second. Well, I finally hit that milestone and for a single day, one single day, I was proud of myself and happy and slightly more chill. And then the next day, it all came rushing back again and even more so than when I was making $500 a week. And that's because I had, and I joke because it's just so true, this is why you hear this all the time, more money, more problems, but it's true. I just waited until the next milestone to let myself be happy and nothing was ever enough. So one of my biggest regrets was just, I wish I was just happy with where I was at the time and enjoyed the process rather than waiting for that milestone, whether it was money, subscribers, followers, or whatever the status symbol or whatever the thing might be, just be content with where you are at. Okay, Chris, be content right now. I think a bird pooped on my shoulder, which is a great segue into my next point. I, I wish I took my mental and physical health more seriously. So because of the way that I had positioned my life, which was working all the time and not enjoying myself, I just kind of lived in a constant state of stress and anxiety. And that kind of became the baseline. So when I did go on that trip to Berlin and I let myself have fun, I was like, this is what other people feel like? And Lizzie would always say to me, you should talk to a therapist. And I was like, I don't know if that's the thing. Maybe you know, I'll do something else. And then I wouldn't do that. And then I'd be like, Lizzie, I feel I'm still stressed and anxious. You should talk to a therapist. And I don't know about that. And then I finally tried therapy. I was like, Lizzie, the therapist was right. He helped me reframe my relationship with work. And she's like, oh, okay. We're glad you figured it out on your own. <laughs> but when I talked to a therapist and I encourage anybody who might be feeling stressed or anxious or has a bad relationship with work to talk to one, he helped me reframe how I was looking at work. And he also encouraged me to take my physical health more seriously. So he's like, start with walks. So I started walking and then I started walking every single day. And then I also started to notice because I was like, I like how I feel after walks. When I don't like so much how I feel after bad food, I should probably be eating better too. So then I started eating more whole foods. I got a better diet. And by taking both my physical and my mental health more seriously, I was finally able to just relax and be happier and more genuine and just talk to you guys more authentically and it's just made my life drastically better because I finally addressed those things and I think there's a huge stigma around a lot of men not wanting to deal with their mental health I mean I think my stats are like 90% male watch this channel so the, to the 90% of men out there who might be feeling anxious or stressed I really encourage you to go speak to someone 
start off small and then if you really feel like you are in a position to do it financially, it's a great investment to seek out a therapist. By taking my physical health and mental health seriously, it's helped a lot. So that's, that's me being honest with you guys about the biggest regrets of my 20s. I feel like I'm in a much better place now and I'm really excited for my 30s. And if you guys have any suggestions or tips that I should be aware of for my 30s, please let me know in the comments below. Let's just create a giant thread in the comment section so that everyone just lives a better life. If you guys enjoyed this video, please press like. That actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. We're giving away a camera when we hit a million subscribers. And you might have noticed a really nice color grade on this video because we got brand new LUTs. So if you guys want to go check those out, links are in the description to go check out presets, LUTs, business templates, all those other things. And there's also a free sample pack that you guys can download. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for watching this video. I love you. We'll see you again soon. I'll make a video soon but you'll see me when I make it. Love you, bye. Also, that's a house for a bat. Isn't that cool? Is there anyone in there? Are bats that small? Cool.